Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is the homie Smooth Cat with Colossal Boxing Talk. Also with... It's your boy Mouse. Pennsylvania Building, Colossal Boxing Talk. And today we have a, a follow-up interview with King James Dolorosa. How you doing, James? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, last go around when we had you on, you were uh, getting ready. You were preparing to fight uh, <clears throat> Alfredo and Gulo. And as yeah, we know, man. as we know, you um, you you pretty much you uh, you you had your way with Alfredo and Gulo in the ring. Is it is it yeah. is it anything that you can admit now that that you saw beforehand that you really took advantage of? Um, <clears throat> the only thing that I had was that I wanted to take advantage of was using my angles and uh, getting myself the punching ability. I think that was one of the main reasons why I dropped them in the second round. I think or third round when I dropped them. You know, I believe that was that was one of the main reasons why I dropped him because I had got a good angle and a good shot switching from southpaw to orthodox. You know, it turned up. For okay. You got a question, Mouse? Yeah. Let me let me ask let me ask you about the Angulo fight. Was it yeah? Was it Angulo's team that asked for the one sixty weight? Yeah, they asked for uh, one sixty. Um, I was fine with whatever. I mean. They asked for 162. Um, I was actually, I thought it was going to be like around 158, something like that, you know, which was fine with me because I, I, I do plan on coming back down to 154, you know. That's why I plan on making my statement at. So um, they asked for 162, and, I mean, it was it was an opportunity for me that I could have passed up, so so we took it. Now let me ask you, because you said that you, you intend to come back down to 154. Do you intend to go back up to 160 after you feel comfortable at 54? Um, maybe in the future, uh, when I feel my body can't make 154, or I mean, once I win a world title at 154, then then possibly yeah. But as of right now, my my plans are for 154. Okay. Now now with that being said, you have um a match coming up with uh, Hugo Santana. Uh, 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 unbeaten fighter who's um who was campaigning at 154, but what's the uh, what's the word on that? Is, is it that he can't make 154 anymore? Well, yeah, yeah. Um, they asked, they had called and asked us, uh, what would I be willing to take the fight at? And I know that that he was fighting at 154, so I told him, yeah, we'll take the fight at 154, because they knew I, was, I my last fight was at 162. And uh, I told him that I'd be more than willing to take that fight at 154, you know, because uh, being that they offered it to me. And then um, they had called me a couple of days later talking about that they couldn't make 54, so they wanted to do it at uh, at 57 plus or minus one. Okay, okay. Now, um, <clears throat> now as we know, um, Hugo, he, he's a he's a pretty big guy. He, I mean, he has a um, Nice, uh, long jab and things of that sort. Is, is there anything about him that that's like uh, okay early on that that you that that I, I won't say worries you that, that you think can cause you problems? Nah, because <laughs> I mean yeah, yeah he is tall, but there is a lot of flaws still in him that I see that he does and uh, that I'll be able to expose come December six. Okay, Mel's.
worked out the deal with them. So, I mean, I told my manager, he, he was asking me what did I want and stuff like that. I told him I didn't want to fight. I told him, you you work with, with whatever you feel, and I'm just here. I'm, I'm there to fight. That's all I need to know. The days, the weight, and that's it. Nice. Okay, now, um... <clears throat> Another thing, I, I'm not sure if you, if you uh taking out the overall landscape of 154, but with the um also the the, the week after uh your fight uh we have it's a world title fight between Jamel Charlo and Demetrius Andrade. Are, are you at all interested in seeing that fight? Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch it. That's I mean that that's a good matchup. You know, two undefeated. Going at it, you know what else? What else could a boxing really? What, what else could a boxing fan ask for? You know, two undefeated, putting the records on the line. You know, so why not? I mean, I, I I'm gonna watch it for sure. Okay. Uh, um, it, it, who do you favor in that fight? Oh man, um, I'm not even too sure. I like Demetrius. I like Demetrius Andrade. Uh, I, I really. I, I would have to go with, I think I would give him the upper hand, but, I mean, the Charlo, Jamel, Jamel Charlo, you can't underestimate still either. I mean, he is on the team too, so um, it, 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 it's a good matchup. It's a, good, it's a real good fight. Okay. You know, either way. Oh, also on that card, you got um, Devin Alexander versus Amir Khan. W with that fight, our... Um, are, are you leaning one way with that one, or are you, like, still up in the air? Oh, uh, that one's, I think Devin has, I mean, Amir does, probably has better boxing skills, but I just think that Amir, uh, that, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see Amir beating, beating Devin. Devin has good skills as well, too, so, uh, I see it going towards Devin. Okay, okay. Okay, um, now... Let me let me let me ask James something. Good. Let's talk about your fight night. I mean that same exact day. I'm pretty sure it's the same day Rosado is fighting David Lemieux, right? Right. Yeah. At the at the at the Barclays. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's on the same um, card. With with a, I mean that's 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 two possible opponents for yourself that could be in the future. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. Two. Um. I mean, shoot, whatever my team says, you know, and I, I, I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm here to fight. So if they give me something, they tell me, look, I got you to fight at 154. I'm, I'm ready to go. They tell me I have this fight at 160. It's for, I mean, the only, I, I, I see myself fighting at 160 if it's a big shot for me, if it's even getting me one step closer to getting that title shot. Now, being that as... Yeah, you go by the king, James De La Rosa. I mean, I, it would be quite interesting to see you face off with, with Gabe Rosado because he goes by. Uh, <laughs> he can't get rid of Rosado, you know? <laughs> Say the battle of the kings. <laughs> yeah, Mike. No, 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 no. I was just laughing, basically saying uh, the, the battle of the king. The kings. Yeah, I mean, with you, I didn't know you were fighting in that same exact day, and, and I thought about it because of, I thought about the King thing, but I think that, I mean, that's a fight that you have to pay attention to, I would imagine, yeah. being that it's a potential, I mean, yeah, uh, Rosado, who... After I get done with my fight, I, I'm going to sit down and watch that fight, too, as well, you know? I, I, I'm, uh, I, I study every single fight, no matter who it is, who, who, I mean, what way, I, I just mm -hmm. love boxing, so... I mean, you can catch me watching a boxing match. If there's featherweights, bantamweights, I mean, I don't care. I'm going to watch. I, I I love the sport. I love to watch. So I, I'm watching. But I'm going to be watching Gabriel Sala as well and, and the Mute because, like y'all said, I mean, they are possible opponents too in the future. So I'll be keeping an eye on them too. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> with this potential uh, Canelo Alvarez versus Miguel Cotto fight for next year, um, uh, What's your take on that? Do, um, who do you favor, and is it a fight you're interested in seeing? Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I've I've always wanted to see what uh Cotto uh what well not Cotto because I mean Cotto shows what he has every single fight. 
you know, and um, Canelo, I, I just want to see when he, I guess, you, yeah, you can say stepped up that position more, you know, and, and this is a big fight for his career, so he's going to have to make a statement, but uh, I'm going to lean with, uh, with Cotto. I mean, he's got so much experience, and uh, he, he's a bad man. <laughs> Wow, I am impressed. <laughs> that is crazy because you know what, uh, James, yeah, 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 you're Mexican and I'm Puerto Rican and I'm leaning for Canelo to be Cotto. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, I got a lot of people down here. They, they, they'll sit here and ask me, "Who do you got on this fight?" You know, and they'll ask me if the person's Mexican. You know, uh, to me, the race thing, I don't, I don't, I'm not a want to sit and say, I'm going to go for this guy because he's Mexican or not, not like, yeah. just for any fight, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, like I said, I'm a, when I'm watching, I'm a fan of the sport, and yeah. I, 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 I base it on, on skill-wise, and I, yeah. I, I personally think that, that, uh, that Cotto, uh, skill-wise is, is there, and then, I mean, all the guys he's fun, he's based, that fight was slow, and I believe was close, you know, and, even for that fight, I was pulling for him for that fight, too. But you don't think that uh, Canelo's body work can slow him down? I mean, because we've seen, we've seen Cotto have stamina issues before, and I think yeah. uh, Canelo has a, a, a great body work, and he probably has one of the best body works in the business right now. Yeah. You don't That's think that could slow him down? Um, yeah, it, it can slow him down, but I just, from what I've seen, I mean, I just don't think Canelo's chin is to what the people think it is, you know, because, mm -hmm. like, like uh, I, who was it that he fought at 154, and that guy moved up from, like, 140, one, I think, and rocked him. Oh, you, um, you talk about uh, Jose Cotto. He, he was at, uh, he was at welterweight yeah, then. There you go. Yeah, well, he, I, I mean, yeah, he's fun all these other guys and stuff like that, but I don't give them the punchy power that Cotto has. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, um, Lada, no, no, who, who was it that, uh, got another fight, a couple fights ago? Trout. Yeah, Lara. Yeah, Off Lara, the track. I, I mean, um, even though, yeah, and Trout and them, I just don't think, that they, I don't think their punching ability matches the Cotto, because I think with Lada and Trout and them, they're, they're uh, they're more of a when they're when they're when they're punching they're 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 thinking about moving already getting out the way. Right. They're feeling yeah, they're slick. They're slick they, 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 they don't commit to their punches. Yeah, they don't commit to the punches. There you go. Um, Cotto, uh, he commits and, and when he, when he's committing, it, it's all in. It's either you're gonna get him or he's gonna get you. I mean, but don't get me wrong. I do see Canelo having a chance because, like I said, everyone has a punch's chance. And Canelo, Canelo does bring some good body work. Um, that, like, like you said, that would favor him a little. But I just think with Cotto's experience and the way Cotto's been look, the way Cotto looked in his last fight, um, his the way he looked, the way he, I mean, what he did to Delvin Rodriguez. You talking about Sergio like, Martinez? Yeah, and what he did to Sergio Martinez too. There you go. Yeah, what he did to Sergio and uh, and um, you know, I I just off of off of him coming off the fight with the uh, with Martinez, I didn't I didn't picture him doing that to Martinez. I, I, I don't know, think I, nobody did. <laughs> I thought what I thought what I thought for that fight was uh, like uh, Martinez and our boxer using catching with some shots and and he's gonna get out the way and I said he's gonna stick and move all night. Right. And Cotto, if he broke that footage, he, he's not going to have a chance. And it, boy, this shocked me. Man. You, you know, I'm going to take that back. I, I, I think I got uh, I, one of my favorite friends, uh, Jason Bailey. Uh, he, I think he's the only one who uh, who predicted that fight, who who, uh, who, who really had Cotto, who had Cotto winning from Jump Street. Right. I, mean, I, I try not to. I try not to do the race thing. I'm with you on that. I feel like it's it's more on the boxing skill, you know. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. That's why. You know, but I didn't see Cotto. 
photo be the Martinez at all, but I mean, you know, this bison, man, he put on a clinic. He did. <laughs> this real bad, too. I, I didn't think he was going to blow him out like that. Hey, uh, yeah, me, that was, me either. That was impressive. That was real impressive on his part, and I think uh, Freddie Roach really put a solid game plan for that fight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the, the the way Cotto was using that left hook and coming over the top, man, that that was a thing of beauty. It, it's like they, yeah. they 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 practiced, they had that to perfection. Yeah. But um. So, so, so being being that we talking about, I mean, Cotto and Canelo, I mean, let's ask the obvious question. I mean, those are guys that could easily fight at fifty four or sixty. I mean. Where do you see a James De La Rosa versus a Canelo or a Cotto? That was my next question. I would love to fight either one, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, just uh, let me, let me, um, I mean, I guess what it is right now that I got to keep working my way up the ladder. So, I mean, once I get there, um, shit, I hope it can happen with either one. You know, I, I got offers for, for Canelo a couple years back. didn't happen. Basically, uh, business part, but, you know, they're, they're, I'm there's nothing for me to say bad or anything like that. You know, like everyone says, it's a business as well. Right. So, I mean, but hopefully it does come in the future, though. That's one thing I do hope. Most definitely. Hey, I, and I, now I'm going to say this, James, off our, off our experiences. Now, hey, hey I, I, I know you really want the Canelo fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, that was, uh, I was one fight. Um, I was wanting bad, and they, uh, they offered me that one. They, I got an offer Chavez two years back, and that one fell through, and I was like, man, and that's because the Chavez one, too, I wanted, I, that one, um, it was about about six years ago, I believe, and they were going to offer me it, in, uh, and I had fought down here in my, in, in, in my hometown, and I had fought, and then after that, they I knocked out the dude, and they never got back up to us about the fight. So, so basically, at that time, you you was too much, too much risk for for a low reward, basically. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, the, the business side of it always has its way of wearing this ugly head in. Hey man, you can't. I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. You <laughs> you impressed everybody with the Angulo fight. I've never seen Angulo been beat down the way that you beat him down. Yeah. 
fighters no more. So when you see a fighter built, like it, it, that's what makes fighters heart and will. And you just yeah. before that fight, you already knew I'm gonna beat this guy. There was no way he was coming in that ring, and you just pushed him around like he was uh, exactly what he is—a dog. You pushed him around like a dog. <laughs> a few guys that you're sparring with uh, for the Centennial fight? Oh, I'm pitching to go to Houston this week, and I'm going to go spar with uh, Jamar Charlo. Jamar Charlo? The, uh -huh. the one that's not fighting Demetrius. Right, the uh, the older brother. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go spar with him this week, So, and then I'll be sparring him probably throughout, throughout the rest of the whole camp. I'll be going up there. I mean, it's not even a drive for me from down here. It's like four hours, four and a half hours away from me, so... So we're gonna be driving over there, going to go get some good work in with him. Okay, okay, that, hey, that, that's that's definitely good sparring. Like you say, he got the range. Him and uh, Centeno, they they kind of um, si similar in height and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. And he's, and he's the, the older brother is the more yeah. exciting one of the two. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Hey, I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but hey, but, but like the old adage go with it, skills pay the bills. Hey, I I I take the skill for one over the most excitement any day of the week. <laughs> but um, so go ahead, let man. me ask you something. How uh, when when you guys get ready for camp, how long does your camps last? Uh, <laughs> training like 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 with your uh with your eating regimen um uh, i mean like you like you say you uh you, you you're a relatively in shape guy and, and, and you seem to always be around weight so the, the does eating become a problem do you have to like cut down meals to keep weight or do you have to eat oh, more no. I go weigh myself, I was like a pound over, I just go run like a two mile run again, 
and I was dropping all the weight easy. So every single day I was eating, even the morning of the, the weigh-ins, I eat breakfast and everything, orange juice, and I was I, I think I was underweight too still. Okay, that's good. Now has um has the has has the Mexican uh, fan base looked at you different since that fight? Because I mean Angulo is one of the most loved. Mexican fighters of this time right now. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, uh, um, a lot of people started following, a lot of the Mexican people started following me on Twitter now, they're hitting me up on, mm-hmm. on, on the Facebook part, and, and they'll, they'll send me questions, they'll, I'll interact with them and stuff like that, I'll talk to them too, you know, because I, I run my own stuff, I don't, I don't like, I don't do that where, oh, you run my account for me and you answer stuff for me now, I get on there and do everything myself just in case people had, is this James? Yeah, it is me that, that gets on there and, and, and talks back to everybody. But, uh, yeah, um, a lot of people have been uh, talking, asking me when's my next fight. And, I mean, people that I've never even really known were fans or anything like that. And it, Yeah, I saw your fight with Angulo, you know, and now I'm, uh, I became a fan. And when's your next fight? And So it, it's fun. I like it, man. Okay. Well... Well, James, like I say, we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna keep you too long. We uh, we gonna let you get to to your wrestling things. J- just okay. wanna uh, j- just ask a quick question. Can you uh, shout out Colossal Boxing Salt? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I wanna send a big thank you and a shout out to Colossal Boxing. And uh, and after this fight, we'll get another interview. Uh, most most of most of right, hey, de- definitely looking forward to it, and definitely looking forward to you coming out on top again. Yes, sir. No problem. That, that's without a doubt. Like I said, the only way I'm going to lose is if I get knocked out and I don't have no plan on that. <laughs> yeah, hey, I don't think there's, that, I don't think there's <laughs> many people at 54 to 60 that can knock you out, bro. Nah, nah, not, not, uh, not with me, with the way things are now and stuff like that. I'm ready to go now, so there, there won't be, there won't be no losses coming up no more for me because, like I said, I mean, since I'm not with Don no more, and I just, I just got my manager doing all my work for me now. He, and he told me, you don't worry about nothing. You just get ready. I, I'm telling you, you get ready to fight. You get ready to fight. That's it. All right. So, so now. So before, good. before we, before we do wrap up, since you brought that up, let me ask you about that. Is that was that the way that you and Don ended on a bad note, or it was just time to move on? Nah, it was just time to move on. You know, I mean. The contract ended, and I went my way, and he went his way. There was no, re- I didn't reach out to him. He didn't reach out to me to get back, sign back. I mean, it is what it is. But okay, well, like you say, a, a um, uh, colossal boxing. So we definitely wishing you the best of luck with your uh, with your upcoming fight, and also wishing you the best of luck with uh, the remainder of your career. And we also hoping that, that, that you get these big fights that, that I know you're craving for. Yes, 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 sir. Thank you. All right, James. Well, have a good one, man. Take it easy. All right, thank you. Yes, sir, y'all too. Thank you, James. All right, YouTube. That's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys hit the like button for us. Leave your comments in the comment section. We definitely will get back to you at our earliest convenience. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for us. We appreciate all the love and support. We come. We're going to keep bringing you guys uh, these um, exclusive interviews. So keep supporting us. Keep supporting us. And keep showing us love. And Colossal Boxing Talk going to stick around to constantly do this for you guys. But Smooth Cat and Mouse out.